Okay, so this is just gonna be a short little video on how you can do a simple text effect in DaVinci Resolve 16.2. Actually, you can do it in probably any version of DaVinci Resolve or any version of a video editor for that matter. Um, obviously, I'm showing you in DaVinci Resolve, so it'll be specific to this right now, but you can use these concepts in any video editor. Um, okay, so let's just go and make sure we have our toolbox showing here. We are in the edit page. We're gonna take a simple text item here and drop it there. I actually used this effect in the last video that I just posted where I did a top seven list. If you have a top 10 list, a top five list, that sort of thing, um, this is a great simple effect that you can implement right away without having to buy text effect packs and that sort of thing. You can do this without any plugins. Um, so let's say we're on number five of a list. So I'll put five in there. I'm gonna change my font from Times New Roman to something a little better. Um, I like this greasy spoon font for numbers. Uh, we're gonna scale up the size. Now you wanna use size and not zoom for this part because you wanna make sure that the font stays intact and uh, the resolution of it is good because if you just zoom it up, it'll actually just get blurry probably. Um, so we'll zoom this up to where we want the five to end, or the number to end in general. So we'll fill the frame quite a bit there, maybe even have to adjust the position here a little bit. Okay, so that looks good. Um, I do want to still see the subject behind, so I will reduce the opacity there a little bit. Okay, and the color, I'm gonna pick some kind of a blue like this. Yeah, I think that looks good. Now, the trick for this is the number of spaces. So I find that if you count out 10 frames, it works just nicely for this particular effect. So I'm gonna just use my right arrow and just tap out 10 frames. One, oh, make sure I'm selected on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And this is where I'm gonna scale uh, scale this text back to that and like i said that's where we're going to end so let's put a now this is where we use the zoom effect we'll put a keyframe on zoom right here and we'll go back to the beginning and let's zoom it down so we'll shrink that to about there let's see what we have so far So that's the basic effect. We're just gonna add a little uh, crossfade at the end, probably like three frames is, is perfect. And it will look like this. So that's great for a countdown. Now, uh, so the next number, it's pretty easy. All you do is you copy this, Command C, and uh, let's say this was further on in the video, and then you just paste down where you needed it again and change the number to like six or actually we're probably going backwards, a count down, right? Four. So that's the effect. Anyway, that is a super quick tutorial on how to do that. I plan on doing a lot more of these super quick tips. So uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next ones. And uh, if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps out the channel. And I will see you in the next one.